DreAllDay.com. Let's talk about getting in the game. Now, y'all know I'm the work on your game guy, but uh, I'm talking even more. I'm talking specifically about getting in the game for all of you, regardless of what you're doing. You know, I was just looking at, I was looking at, um, I seen this event posting. This company is just talking about this basketball event that they got going and where they're going to be playing and stuff like that. And it made me think back to when I was playing, playing ball, I'm going to say 10 years ago. And I would do a lot of events. I'd be involved in these events because at that time when I was playing ball, I was like an early, what y'all now know as influencers, I was an early influencer in that space because I was you no know, hooping and I was on YouTube and I was putting videos out all the time and a lot of people knew me from the basketball stuff. And I remember one time I had this kid, he sent me a message and he was like, well, Dre, what can I do so I can be more involved in these events? Because he would always see me doing different types of events and going places and stuff. And I'd be getting like um, free gear and all that stuff. Jordan and Nike send me sneakers all the time and stuff like that. And he was like, well, how can I you know, get involved? How can I be getting into these events and you know, doing this stuff the way that you're doing this stuff? And the answer is not, you know, it's not no one thing that you need to be doing. It wasn't necessarily about basketball skill or necessarily about having a lot of fans and followers. It was really about they're building more buildings down here. It's crazy. But anyway, it's about being in the game. And being in the game might mean more things than just what you think it means. It might be multiple pieces to being in the game. But it's your job, this is the point, it's your job to figure out whatever game you're trying to be in, whatever business you're trying to be in, you got to know what the game is. You got to know what's going on in that game so that if you want to be involved, you can get involved. These days, as a something that I do is professional speaking, something that is not just in-house, but where I'm involved with other people and you know other people had to know me in order for me to be involved is something like doing professional speaking gigs or if I do any kind of influencer type marketing or advertising and things like that. These days, not basketball related because I don't play basketball anymore. But if I do anything like that, oftentimes I get messages from people who see me doing it and they'll say, oh, Dre, how did you uh, get booked? to be on that stage and do a speaking gig or how did you how do you know the person who hosts that that podcast or that radio show or that youtube channel that you got interviewed on or that you got featured on how do you get into these spaces and the question that they're all asking is a different form of the exact same question which is how do i get in the game how do i get started how do i get down you no know, how do i get involved when I see all this stuff that is going on out here in the world and the answer to the question now is the same answer to the question as it was back then, which is, first of all, you got to figure out what is the game that you're trying to get in? That's the first question you must answer. Second question is, where is the game taking place? Where is the game? The game might be on the internet. It might be on somebody's Facebook page. The game might be happening in a geographical location. Wherever the game is happening, you have to first of all know where that is and then you can start scheming around know how you actually get to that place. Third thing you gotta ask yourself is, who are the, the movers and the shakers? Who are the decision makers? Who are the people who can move the needle in that space? Meaning, who are the people that if I knew them, I can make something happen in this game? Who are those people for you? In your particular space, in the game that you're trying to get in. You have to know the answer to these questions. And sometimes it's more than one answer. Because sometimes, oftentimes, especially in the world we live in today, the game is happening in more than one space. And the people who can, you know, the people who know people, the people who can do something, the people with the juice, it's usually more than one person. It's not, it's not always just one guy or one girl who is everything, because you know, it's usually multiple people. They got people who can do something, and they know people who can do something, and it's multiple people. So if you know one of those, 20 people who's making things happen, you can make things happen. So the question that you need to be asking yourself is, who are these people? Where are these places? What is the game that I'm trying to get in? How do I get involved? And then once you get answers to those questions, now you have to actually, that takes work, first of all, let's be clear. It takes work to figure out what's going on in the game. And then it takes work to actually do the stuff that's going on. Once you find out what's going on, now you got to do something about the knowledge that you have. You know how they say knowledge is power? Well, knowledge is potential power. 
is only power when you actually do something with it. So once you get the information and you have the knowledge of what's going on in the game, the question is, what are you going to do with that knowledge? Are you going to actually apply it, go somewhere and use it in some way that's going to get you to where you got to go? So being in the game, folks, means you can't just be sitting around on your phone, scrolling social media, watching YouTube, hoping that something happens for you. You need to figure out how things are taking place in the game that you're in, and then you need to start doing stuff so that you can be involved in the game that you're in. A lot of you are being very passive about uh, the things that you want to be involved in, meaning you're, you know, you're kind of like sitting and you're watching. You know this stuff is happening, but you're not actually doing anything to get engaged and get involved. The problem with that is nothing's ever going to happen. You could know that there's stuff going on, but you never actually get involved in the stuff going on because you're not doing anything. So how do you get in the game? You got to get active. You got to get outside. I did a whole episode on my podcast years ago, and you go to workonyourgamepodcast.com, you can see this episode, and, or you can see the list of the episodes. You can listen to this episode. It's called Why You Need to Be Outside. Why you got to be outside. And some people use outside as, as different things. When I say being outside, what I mean is being active and being engaged with what's going on in the world or worlds in which you want to be involved. That's what it means to be outside. Everybody heard that? Anybody need me to say it again? What it means to be outside. Being active and engaged in the world or worlds in which you want to be involved. You want to be known in the entrepreneurship business. You need to find out the people who are doing stuff in the entrepreneurship business, where are they going? Who do they know? Where are they engaging? All right, where do they where are they getting involved? What places do they go to? What events are they going to? No, where do they no what actions are they taking to get themselves seen, heard, and known in their business? Like right now I'm driving, I'm in Miami. This is a place where look, if you want to be known and you want people to know you in this town, there's certain places you could go. There's certain places that you need to be, there's certain places where you need to be outside so that when you're active, people can see you. People know that you actually exist. Now, any of you who follows me, I mean, y'all watch these videos, right? Y'all see me when I'm doing my podcast. Usually I'm at home and I'm recording in my office. But all the other times, what do you see me doing? What do you see me doing when I'm recording my videos? Usually I'm out. I'm driving. I'm walking. I'm, I might be posted up somewhere. I'm active. If you follow my Instagram story or my Facebook story, you see my story on a day-to-day -day basis, my social media stories, where you see me at? I'm always outside, I'm always active, I'm always engaged, I'm discoverable, I'm findable. I'm in places where people can see me, where people can hear me, where people can know me. So many of you who watch me here on YouTube, if you ever been to Miami, any of you who's been to Miami or you live in Miami or you spend time in Miami, over the last, I've been online for, how long has it been? I started publishing in 05, I wasn't even in Miami yet, but let's just say the last 10 years, let's just say 10 years, I've been here longer than 10 years. The last 10 years, if you've been in Miami or you live in Miami, you probably seen me outside. Whether you said something to me, you shook my hand, you you uh, shouted me out from your car when you see me walking, maybe you uh, just saw me somewhere and you ain't say nothing, you've seen me. If you've been in this town, you've seen me outside. The reason why you see me outside because I'm always outside. I'm active, I'm engaged, I'm in places where I can be seen, heard, and known. But that's just me, and that's for my business. You need to find out what does it mean to be outside in your business? It might be a completely different set of circumstances, but it's your job to know what it's your job to know what it is. Where do I need to be? What I need to be doing? In your industry, it might be you need to be at certain places that are inside. It might be an indoor facility, but it still means being outside. Being outside doesn't literally mean being out where the sun is out. Being outside means being where the people are at and where stuff is happening in your industry so that you can get out here and people can know that you got something going on. That's what it means to be outside. So how often are you getting outside and are you positioning yourself to even have the luck and the opportunities to find you? So if you're not doing that, then why would you be walking around with the expectation? It really wouldn't make any sense. So with all that being said, two things that I want you to do now, first of all, is to text me so you can get my daily motivation text for free straight to your phone. My number is 305-384-6894. I send that out every day for free to everyone who's in my text community. A message is guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. And the second thing is to go to workonyourgameuniversity.com 
that's where you can get coached by me, join my coaching programs. I got a one-on-one program. I have a group coaching program. This program is specifically for the people who are finally tired of always talking about what you want to do, what you're going to do, what you need to do, what you want to have in your life. You're, t- you're tired of talking about it and you're ready to actually do something about it. You're ready to get serious about it. Those are the people who call me. Don't call me if you're not serious. If you're serious about doing something, that's when you go to work on your game, university.com and we actually start doing stuff. We actually get strategic. We make sure there's accountability in place and we start executing on you actually doing things in your real life so we can get some real results for your business life and your personal life. That's at work on your game, university.com. All that being said, work on your game. Dre, all.